is I'm going to show you how to use Excel to do data analysis. So the first thing I want to do is a scatter graph. So if I want to graph these two sets of data, and I'm going to do A on the x-axis and B on the y-axis, I just do insert, I come across to my graphs and I do a scatter graph. And there is my scatter graph. Now, I can change my axes. I can just go in here and click on these and I can change my minimum. Let's say I want my minimum to be two and not five. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, so it changes it a bit. If I wanted to add a trend line, I click on the data in my graph. Then up here in the top left hand corner, I add a chart element, trend line, linear. So there's the equation. Now, if I want to put the equation, I can do display equation. And there it is there. So I can just move it out of the way a bit and I can make that bigger later. Also, if I've selected on that, display R squared value on chart. So I can see my R squared value there. And what else is in here? Nothing else. Okay, so if you can't see those quite well, you can always go into home and adjust the size of those so that they're nice and big. Okay, and of course you would change your title and everything. The other things we need to be able to do is we need to be able to do things, so that's our line of least squares regression. So we've got our slope and our intercept. We've got our coefficient of determination there as well. The last thing we need is our correlation coefficient. Now you could either take the square root of that number there or you could go equals. Now in our formulae over here I'm going to under all okay I'm going to type in coral okay it's statistical let's click on that returns the correlation coefficient between two data sets. So I'm going to insert that and array one. Well, this is my first array one. Array one is normally my explanatory variable and array two is my um, response variable. And it's telling me there what my R value is.